I've taken the engine compartment out completely because the boat's about to go in the water for the new season and two of the things I want to do is a complete oil and filter change and I want to change the coolant in there. I also want to change the fuel filter which is there. Just going to consult the owner's manual just to remind myself of how much oil roughly and how much coolant that the, uh, the engine takes. It tells me in here only to use Volvo coolant which I've got and to use a 50-50 mix of water and antifreeze and I've got a cleaned out empty lemonade bottle which I'm going to pre-mix the antifreeze and the water in beforehand. Looking at the cooling system, the fresh water quantity in litres is 7.8 approximately, so I'm going to need 3.9 litres of antifreeze. Oh, sorry, antifreeze. This is the Volvo coolant I was talking about. I'm going to empty the coolant first and basically I've got to undo that pipe and try and collect as much of the water as I can in this bowl. A lot of it is going to end up going into the bilge and I'll just have to pump it out from there afterwards. The old coolant. Let's see, it's in there. Okay, just undo this Jubilee clip. I won't be able to film it when I take that pipe off. So I'm going to need both hands. See it's dripping already. I better get both hands. Okay, I've saved that much so far. There's that much on in the bilge. But I've put the pipe back on, so there is some more in there. I'm going to try and put that into the empty lemonade bottle. I've emptied all the water now. I couldn't film it because I needed two hands, but I took this black pipe from here to the pump out and tilted it down so that all the water would drain. Now some of it's ended up in the bilge, but most of it, quite a lot of it I've got saved. But I'll just put a bilge pump through there Suck it all up and dispose of it in lemonade bottles. Now I'm going to uh, mix half and half fresh water and the coolant. Using my 2 litre lemonade bottle. I've just filled this up with the 50-50 mix until the liquid got to there just underneath the fill level and uh, that's it filled up now so now I've just got to I've emptied most of the stuff into these two the old antifreeze into these two bottles now I've got to use this bilge pump try and get the remainder of it into these bottles. Turns out the bilge pump's not very good at getting the antifreeze out of the bilge easily without making a mess. So I'm just using an old sponge which I'm soaking up and then pouring into here and then filling the bottles up. I managed to get four litres at the moment. I've got a little bit left to do. Okay, in the uh, handbook it says that the lubricating system, which is for the 230, which is my engine, without the filter the capacity is 3.5 litres, with it it's 4 litres, so I'm going to need 4 litres of oil, and I'm expecting about 3.5 litres to come out, plus what's in the filter that I remove. Now the antifreeze is all done. Mm. The bilges have been cleaned. It's the time of emptying the oil. 
and there's two ways you can empty the oil out your engine one is to take the dipstick out and use a dipstick pump that sucks all the oil out or you can empty the sump plug which is the way i'm going to do it and i think the benefit of doing it that way and any bits or anything at the bottom you're going to get rid of it all so my trusty tray that i've been using to get empty stuff is going to be going underneath ready to take all the bits all the oil that i'm then going to dispose of and i can move this bilge pump and take it out if i need to to get that dry out there is a sump plug underneath I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get the plug off with this spanner. And there's a copper washer attached to the sump plug. I'm going to replace that with a new one before I put it back on. In the end, that spanner was no good. I had to borrow someone's socket set with a long bar. And there's all the old oil in there. Now I'm going to take the, change the filter, which is here. This is the filter removal tool. You put this chain around the filter, get it to the right size, and then you put the chain on there and then pull it off. Okay, there's the old one. Here's a new one, and it's been recommended to me to put a bit of oil around the seal before putting it on, which I'm going to do. So just put a little smidge of oil on there to lubricate it, and I'll put it on. New one going on. Just tighten it by hand. Time to start putting the new oil in. I've nearly topped it up, I'm just checking the dipstick. Mm, that's not too bad. That's about where I want it really. But I'm going to allow for the fact that the oil filter is going to have some. So I'll top a little bit more. Removed the bilge pump from its housing to try and get some room to get this tray out without spilling anything. I think I'm going to have to unscrew the housing as well to get the rim so I don't drop any. So far so good, only a little bit dropped. Not too bad, I managed to get the oil into that container and that's going to be going up the tip. Last thing left to do is to unscrew this fuel filter and put a new one on. 